All right. Um, this is what I'm gonna be making. Is by far my favorite shape or my favorite whatever to make with these balls. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now. This video, it's gonna be hard to see what I'm doing because my hands will be in the way. Cause this is easily the hardest, hardest shape I've had to make with these or tried to anyways um, I'm gonna try to make it as detailed as I can but I couldn't find how to make this shape anywhere on the internet YouTube anything I had to figure this out all by myself I like I you can just find the finished shape but you can't find like a walkthrough on how to do it so I spent months trying to figure out how to do this and now I'm gonna make a video Tell everybody else how to do it. So I'm gonna be making a three-sided pyramid, of triangles, but everything in the middle is gonna be full of balls. It's not just gonna be like one of those crappy hollow ones. It's gonna be the real thing. So, all right, um, I'll try to make it as detailed as I can, like I said. But first thing you wanna do is uh, so it auto focus here. You just pinch three on there and you just wrap it around so you don't really need anything you just there we go just wrap it around a bunch doesn't really matter how much because you're just going to be cutting it anyways I'll do it once more there we go I guess it just doesn't have to be the same but whatever Whatever works. Um, okay. Yes, okay. So, shit, that's on it. Two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, all right. So, you're going to make this. Um, I'm, I like to keep track so I count from the top. I go two, three, four, five, six, five, and that those that's how many are across. So after you get that done, you get your string of string of balls. You can you attach it at the end towards the two. Just lay them flat, and now once you get like I say. There's two there, but when you lay the string of balls down, there'll be three at the end. You're gonna count this count this ball on the side that you put laid there when you're counting. So you count seven, including this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you lay it on the other side of the two, like that, and it'll go down. And then you'll count to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lay it down. And then now that you're here, on the last one, you'll see there, instead of three across, there's four. So you're only going to count six now, not seven. So you include this one again. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can cut it off. And you just attach it right on that last one. And you'll get something that looks like that. And a way to double check to make sure that they're all right, you can pinch the corners. And they'll all make triangles. You don't have to, but it's just a good way to check. Now you can just put that to the side. You're going to be making a lot more of those. So back at step one, pinch them together. Just roll them, doesn't matter how many. That should be good. Alright, now, for this one, like I said, when I'm counting, there's two, three, four, five, six, five. So it'll count up, and the very last one will count down one. So the next step, you're obviously going to be. 
two, three, four, five, four. Because you're going to be taking one row of balls off at a time. So two, two, three, four, five, and four. So I can cut this off and that. And that's the shape you're going to be using next. And a good way to make sure you're doing it right is there will always be two balls on all three sides of the things you're making. Now you grab your string of balls again. And you just pretty much do the same thing. Put it on the end. You'll count seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put it on the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then now that you're at the last one, you'll count six again. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And you'll just finish it up, touch it on the end. And you can pinch a triangle, make sure it's triangle. And you're going to put this one to the side now. You're going to do the same, same thing. This time you're going to do two, three, four, three. So... You don't need to cut them anymore, so you can actually, when you're rolling it, you can kind of look, eyeball it. So, two, three, four, three. So, I got that right there. And you just put it there. Count seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the last one, you're going to count six again. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can just touch that. Oh, crap. Touch that on there. Pinch the sides. Make a triangle. Now you have three of those made. Um, now the last one you did was two, three, four, three. So now it's going to be two, three, two. So you're always going to be subtracting one, so roll it up, and right there, you get six balls or something, two, seven balls. You have a little shape like that, so two, three, two, is that right? Two, three, yep, yeah, that's right, and then you count, count seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Make sure you count six the last one, always. And you can pinch a triangle, that fits. Now pay attention to this next step because it's, you're not going to be. It's, it's hard, you're going to make a little triangle. Um, what I do is I, I take three balls off, or six balls, I mean. So six, fold into a circle, and I pinch, pinch the corners to make a little, little triangle. And now you do the same thing, but instead of counting seven on the... You'll count five. So one. One, two, three, four, five. So right there. Oops. And this is just a lot harder to do, so. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And you'll count four this time. You'll always try one on the last. And now, honestly, I think I did the next step. Oh, crap. I think that fits on there. Yeah, okay, that's right. And then you just put this one to the side. Now you're going to make, do the same thing. Take six balls, make a little triangle. But this time you're gonna you're going off the side. It's hard to explain. Um, see this last one when you 
counted, you went right off the end of the tr you went right off the end of the tip of that triangle you made. This time you're gonna be making the loop right here on the side, just to make it smaller. So you'll lay it flat like that, and you won't you won't flatten it like you did the last one. You'll just put one ball on, and you'll count four. Or five, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. No, you'll count four. You'll lay it flat. I think I just made the same shape twice, actually. Nope, we're good. Alright. That'll on top of that. Nice. Alright. I dine. You'll have something that looks like that. If you pinch the corners, it'll always go even to a point. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start putting them together. This is my; these won't be left over. You're gonna need these. I'm just gonna start putting this pyramid together right now. So you take the first one you made, the biggest one. You'll pinch one corner. You'll take the next size down. Pitch a corner. And what you'll do is you'll take the tip with a pinch corner and attach it. Not you won't attach it to the tip, but you'll attach it right in between there. Right there. So in between those three first balls, you'll put that ball. And if it doesn't fit, just make sure to turn it around. Hard to get it here. So you just drop it like that. And it should fit on there nice. And then you grab the next size. Do the same thing. Just try to. And you go next size. Get the next size. And now one, two, on the fifth layer. On this layer, when you put it on, I have to flip that one. When you put it on, grab a string of balls and make sure you do this, otherwise, your pyramid won't go on right. You're gonna take the corner balls out, so the ones closest to that, uh, to the loop, you're gonna take out. So, this one right here, I'll show you. You just pop that one out, flip it, pop that one out. It's hard to get on here. And then you'll get the three. You take three balls out. So then there's only three in the middle. There's only three supporting this one now. Now you can go to your next size that you made. And you can put that right on there. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, it looks crappy, but it gets better. It'll look really good. All right, now you have this. I think it's... You have six layers on here. Six up. And you can just put that, put that to the side. Now take nine balls off your string. Make a circle. And push all the corners in to make a little triangle, like that. And now you can put that right on there, on, on here. And then you just drop a ball on top, so it covers that hole. Next, you'll take six a string of six, put them together. Push them to make a little pyramid, or a little triangle I mean, and then you can put it on top, flip it, oh crap, there we go, alright now this next one's hard, you take three balls, you just put them together, make a little triangle, and then you just kind of mess with it till you get it on top there. Frustrating. 
There we go. And then obviously you're gonna put one more ball right on the top there. <clears throat> and then what you can do, it looks crappy right now, you can just pinch the top, slide it down, pinching the sides, do it to all the sides. Feels really cool by the way. And now you got a nice little triangle on the bottom. There'll be three holes missing. So the leftover balls, you can just pop a ball right in those holes. And like obviously, it's not completely full in the middle of balls, but you only got that many balls that aren't in use. Everything in the middle is pretty solid so it's really sturdy and you just yeah I think that this is the funnest coolest shape I like when you drop the things on when you're putting the layers on I like that feeling but this is my all-time favorite thing to make but all right